Hi there dancers, welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. Thank you for stopping by my channel. My name is Sam and today we are doing a yin yoga class for sleep. So this is perfect to do right before bed. You could even do the sequence in bed if you wish. You will need a bolster or if you don't have a yoga bolster, you can always use pillows. And of course, if you are in your own bed, hopefully there are lots of pillows around that you can use to help with that. We are, this is going to be a very calming practice, of course, in preparation for sleeping. So don't push yourself too far. Don't worry about finding your maximum stretch here. We're really just trying to wind down the body physically to fully prepare ourselves for a great night's sleep. And we're actually gonna start this class lying prone on your stomach. It's coming all the way down to your stomach. You're gonna take your right hand and you're gonna extend that arm out either directly beside you or you're gonna bend the elbow making 90 degrees beside you here on the ground. Then from here, you can turn your head towards the left Bend both of your knees in behind you, and then you're just gonna flip yourself over onto your right side. So you should feel a little bit of a stretch through the chest here. And you can stay here in this posture or take your left hand and just bring it behind your back. I like to keep it there just for support. So I find it a little bit easier to relax into the posture when the left hand is down but make sure you adjust in a way that means you can fully relax into this posture, feeling elongated through the front of your chest on the right side. And feel free to close your eyes and just breathe. We'll be here for about three minutes, so get comfy. Go ahead and switch sides. So rolling back onto your stomach. Bring your left arm out. Try to find the same variation, either straight or at 90 degrees. Flipping your head to the opposite direction. Bend your knees and rolling now onto your left side. Opening up through the chest. Again, once you find that comfortable position, try to Avoid any fidgeting, resist that urge. And just allow your body to fully relax. 
Three more minutes on this side. Gently roll out of the pose, come back onto your belly. We're actually gonna flip all the way over onto your back now. Coming into banana pose. So have your arms up overhead and you're going to move your hands and your feet over to the right side of your mat while shifting your hips over to the left side. So we're trying to make almost like a nice big crescent moon shape or a C curve through the body. And let's actually bend at the elbows. So you're gonna grab opposite elbows and bring your upper body over to the side. If you would like to intensify this side stretch, you're gonna take your left leg and just cross it over top of the right, just to find a little bit more stretch through your side body. I find this one always takes a lot of adjusting to kind of find the right stretch and to find a comfortable place. So take your time. You want to make sure that once you do find the sweet spot that you're able to relax and breathe into that posture. So find your place. Continue to breathe deeply. Again, feel free to close your eyes here. Just relax. We'll be here for another three minutes.
to come out of this posture, let's bring your arms down by your sides first and then uncross the legs. And then from here, shift your hips and the rest of your body back to center. Just take a moment to notice how your left side feels in comparison to your right. And then we'll go ahead and do that same thing on the other side. So shift your hips now to the right. Legs and arms, shoulders are gonna go towards the left. Again, grabbing opposite shoulders. And then if you'd like to intensify the stretch, you can cross your right leg over the left. Again, take your time to find that comfortable stretch. And once you get there, just breathing, finding another few minutes on this side. And we'll gently come out of this one by bringing your arms down, uncrossing the legs. Shift your hips back to center. Just take a moment here. And we're gonna make our way up to a seated position. Just coming into a forward fold to really calm down our nervous system. Your, this is where you're gonna want your bolster or a pillow. I'm gonna place mine just right on top of the legs here. So your legs are just out straight in front of you and keep them relaxed so your legs can flop open a little bit, your knees can be bent. And from here, we're just coming forward into a fold. So let's just take an inhale to sit up nice and tall. And then on the exhale, just allow your spine to curve and just coming forward. And you can maybe stack some extra pillows here so you can fully support and relax your head 
And let's just have the arms hanging by your sides, palms facing up, so we resist the temptation to pull into this stretch. Remember that we're not going to our maximum here. We're just finding a relaxing pose. While we're here, allow the weight of your head to pull you deeper into the stretch. So we're not pushing. Just let your neck totally relax. And as always, breathing deeply. We'll be here for about four minutes, so get comfortable. And to come out of this one, let's use your hands to walk yourself back up very, very slowly. Nice and easy. Now we have one final pose before coming into Shavasana. 
This is going to be a supported fish pose. So you can take your bolster and now place it behind you. Of course, if you're using a pillow, you can use that pillow behind you as well. You're gonna bring your legs into a butterfly shape, so bringing the soles of your feet together. And then you're just gonna lower, keeping your hips on the floor, but lower the rest of your spine up onto your bolster or onto your pillow. So we're finding a very slight arch through the back and allowing the hips to just open wide and let, allowing gravity to pull the knees closer to the floor here. So this doesn't need to be a very extreme arch. Remember, we're not trying to go for the maximum. So just relaxing over top of your bolster or your pillow, feel that your shoulder blades are melting down towards the floor, towards your mat or your mattress, depending on where you're at right now. And just allow yourself to breathe into your open chest and open heart and open hips. And just allow that relaxation to wash over you. You shouldn't need any muscle engagement whatsoever here. We'll be here for another four minutes, so just breathe. And from here, gently bring your knees back together, shift off of your bolster cushion, just enough to move it out of the way. And from here, we're just gonna come into Shavasana. Usually, I would lead you through Shavasana into a closing meditation but I'm actually just gonna leave the class here in Shavasana for today, so 
you are doing this class in bed, this is where you would just fall off to sleep. So from here, I'll say thank you for doing this practice with me. I hope you have a really wonderful night's rest. And hopefully I'll see you on the mat again soon. Namaste.